I don't think it can be Dak, but I do think he can be part of the conversation, if that makes sense. I don't think when you ultimately start getting to like who could be the three strong candidates, I don't know if Dak can be, but I think when we're talking about top five candidates can in 2024, me, I think maybe he's in that conversation. Tell me more about why that is when you've seen the return from injury. And right now, yeah. I think you can make a really strong argument. He's the second candidate for MVP. To be clear, yeah, yeah, for sure. MVP in a year does not mean you're acknowledged as, I feel like Patrick Mahomes, he's not the reigning MVP, but he is probably acknowledged as, or he won't win MVP this this year, but I think he's acknowledged as the best quarterback. So what is okay. it that makes you think that it won't be Dak? I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just and, curious and, and, why. And I just want Tolos to, to hear this. I think Dak is in the conversation before yeah. it makes it sound like I don't no, think no, Dak is. You said top five. No, no, for for sure. sure. I just want to make sure because people then will say, oh, there goes Bassett hating on Dak when I said, I think in 2024, he's in the conversation and a top five sure. quarterback, sure, but sure. maybe just not. So when I think about guys like Patrick Mahomes, when I think about Kyler Murray, when I think about, and I don't think Lamar Jackson is going to truly Some enter this conversation. people have asked about him as well. But do you understand that, like in Josh Allen, they have some traits that are like almost unteachable. The running, the physicality, the for for Patrick Mahomes, the crazy ass plays that he pulls off that you only have seen in, in my lifetime from somewhat of a John Elway or a Brett Favre, and now Patrick Mahomes is taking it to another level. Like, I think Dak Prescott is leaning towards, if healthy, a borderline Hall of Fame quarterback. Just so I get that out there so people understand yeah. how much I'm thinking of Dak Prescott right now if he can stay healthy for 10 more years. He has to play 10 more great years in the NFL for this to happen, but he doesn't have, and this just, Ooh. he doesn't have the like crazy ass plays, the crazy ass runs that you're just like, oh my God, I got to see this 10 times. I've never seen this before type of deal. Yeah, I. I disagree with you about having to play like this for 10 more years because I think if he won a Super Bowl uh, and competed in another NFC championship, he'd be in. And that's just be that's simply because he's a Cowboy. More more than anything else, I think it's just like, that's the Cowboy star. Uh, I mean, we're, people are seriously di having the discussion of Tony Romo just because he played for the Cowboys. Maybe that's not, just not locally. Not real humans who vote maybe on that's it, just, but that's just yeah. the fans of Tony Romo. Yeah, yeah, and maybe that's just a local Tony Romo thing there. But I think being a Cowboy, winning a Super Bowl, I think that, that like... But I think you're I think you're dead on, man. There are a lot of different avenues of the highlights. How much? How important are the highlights to getting into the Hall of Fame and be, being that kind of guy? The highlights in terms of like... The that, best did you see that no look I, touchdown I, throw? I think almost non-existent. Ah, no, it's it's all about the production and where your yeah. team's gonna be uh, by the end of. Somebody asked about Aaron Rodgers, like in the comparison of things, why we don't look at Rodgers like Could we be. would at, he, he at might be Russell Peyton Wilson Manning. or you know because he won one. Yeah, but he won one at a time where everybody was saying he better win one or he's going to be a choke artist. I'm telling you, if they wouldn't have made that wild card run, Aaron Rodgers would be viewed along with Marino as the biggest underperformer mm -hmm. of all time. I did. But wanna... 2024, do you think Aaron Rodgers? Let's just say he goes to the Denver Broncos. I cannot like, rule it out. I I wasn't yeah, joking so about good. Tom Brady. Like I I don't like Tom Brady, but look. You look at what he's doing this year, and I'm like, hell, I don't know. Uh, but I wonder about Aaron Rodgers. It'll depend. Like, does he win a Super Bowl for Green Bay this year? And if he does, then does he retire and be like, I haven't told y'all. Mm -hmm. Or do they come up short and he's like, I'm going a place where I can win. And I that think if he wins the Super Bowl, he still wants to show Green Bay how great he still is by not being there. Yes, and and I so I think then he just retires. Whereas oh, if, I don't think so. I think he wants you to might, show. You might totally to be like right show him up. about that.